Hello and welcome back to an animal video. I'm Danny Burke. I know you guys love animal videos, but I didn't think you would enjoy me talking about them going extinct. I was wrong. You guys seem to find it really interesting. And many of you asked for more. More is happening now. This is the top 10 recently extinct animals part two. Starting off at number 10, we have the Javan tiger. This tiger subspecies was native to the Indonesian island of Java. It was a lot smaller than its Asian cousins on the mainland. Now despite this, they were no less scary to the local people there who would respectfully call them Mr. Tiger in case one of them was ever listening. As the human population there swelled in the early 20th century, the Javan tiger retreated to the mountains where they preyed on deer and wild boar. That's where the last ones were sighted in 1976 and despite huge searches for them since then, it's thought they went extinct not long after. And next up at number 9 now, we have the sea mink. Have you guys ever heard of or seen in real life a real fur mink? Coat. They used to be very popular. The thing is, they were made from the fur of the sea mink. This creature was native to the coasts of Maine and New Brunswick. They were longer and bulkier than other mink species, which made their coats almost twice as big. Because of this, they were hunted to extinction somewhere between 1860 and 1870, meaning any mink coat you see made from a sea mink is going to be pretty old indeed. Moving on to our number eight now, we have the great orc. This flightless bird lived in the colder parts of coastal Canada, Greece. Greenland, Iceland, and other European fringes. It might look a bit like a penguin, but it really wasn't. These things mated for life, they lived in dense colonies, and laid just one single egg on a bare rock. They lived alongside humans for about 100,000 years, but by the early 20th century, their numbers were dwindling. In a cruel twist of fate, museums wanting to preserve their eggs for display only sped up their extinction, and the last one was seen in 1852. Coming in at number seven now, we have the Tacopa pupfish. This tiny critter could only be found in two single hot springs in the Mojave Desert in California. They were trapped there when nearby lakes evaporated over the past 10,000 years and had lived there ever since. They were small, just over an inch or so in size, but were incredibly heat resistant. They could quite happily live in waters of up to 43 degrees Celsius or more. Sadly, being good with heat isn't everything when it comes to survival. Humans modified the area around them to build bathhouses at the springs and inadvertently introduced invasive fish species as well, leading to the Tacopa pupfish being declared extinct in the early 1970s. At number six now, we have the Puyuli bird, also known as the black-faced honeycreeper. The Puyuli bird was discovered in Hawaii for the very first time in 1973. One of the reasons it took so long to discover them was just how small the population was. In 1980, scientists estimated the population to be just 140 birds. With such small numbers, it seemed they really started to suffer from human development in Hawaii. They lost their territory, they were eaten by human introduced mammals such as cats, and died to new diseases. The last wild Puyuli bird was seen in 2004, and tissue samples were taken to potentially clone it back into existence in the future. Moving on to number five now, we have the Canarian Oyster Catcher. The Canary Islands off the coast of West Africa are home to many amazing species, and the Oyster Catcher used to be one of them. Now, as you guys might guess, from its name, it ate oysters and other shoreline creatures. It went extinct sometime before 1940 for a number of different reasons. Firstly, humans overfished its food source. It also got attacked by rats and cats. And finally, humans absolutely loved the taste of their eggs. Unfortunately, too many eggs were eaten. Okay, coming on number four now, we have the Round Island Burrowing Boa. As its name suggests, this snake loved to burrow down into the soil on its tiny home of Round Island, just off the coast of Mauritius. It grew up to one meter in length, was light brown with black spots, and had a pointed snout. It was thought to have eaten lizards, but suffered habitat loss by soil erosion due to overgrazing there by goats and rabbits. It was last seen in 1975. You see, sometimes it's not just humans who make things go extinct. Goats are kind of to blame as well. Not really. All right, guys, next up at number three now, we have the Mexican grizzly bear. You guys might picture grizzly bears living in the American mountains or Canadian wilderness, but for a long time, they had cousins in Mexico. They reached up to six feet tall and could weigh over 700 pounds. Now, for the most part, the bears and the humans avoided each other in this area, but when bears started killing cattle, the farmers considered them a pest and encouraged people to hunt them. Hunting them was banned, but by 1950, 50, only 30 of them were left. The hunting continued, and the last one was thought to have been sighted in 1964. All right, moving on to number two now. We have the bulldog rat. Look 
at this chubby little thing. Some people found it cute, other people found it kind of scary. Either way, it used to thrive on Christmas Island, thousand miles off the coast of Australia. It wasn't the actual size of a bulldog, but it was bigger than the rats we know today, coming in at a whopping 17 inches in size. They lived almost alone on that island for thousands of years with no known predators. It became extinct at the start of the 20th century, presumably from diseases carried there by European rats on ships. And finally at number one now, we have the Falkland Islands wolf. Their home was the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic, where it was the only native land mammal there. They were not scared of humans at all, but humans saw them as a threat to their sheep. They were easily lured to people by simply holding out a piece of meat and they were then killed. The Falkland Islands wolf didn't learn to not be trusting of humans and became officially extinct in 1876. Well, extinction is a uh Pretty sad in a way. But I do have some good news for you guys though. The Bargy Dolphin that I mentioned in part one to this video, well, there's actually rumors that it might not be extinct after all. There was a recent sighting. I will keep you guys updated on that. If you want me to do a part three, let me know. If you do, I'm Danny Burke. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.